Hello y'all, uh, this is Wes uh, from Wes's Geeky World, uh, here we're getting ready to do a video on our um, uh, movie collection that I got there, and um, we're just going to get ready to dive right in here, um, okay let's turn the camera around here y'all, um, we'll start with the top shelf here, uh, I've got a some books there I uh, like. Uh, I got the uh, Teen Titans, uh, the animated series, the complete series there. Young Justice. Uh, sorry about that camera. Yeah. Young Justice. Uh, Justice League Gods and Monsters. The Harley Quinn series, one and two. And here's uh, Wonder Woman 84. I still have yet to get the first one. I don't know why I haven't got it yet. But uh, Assault on Arkham. Batman and Harley Quinn. The uh, Suicide Squad. The, the last one they made. Um, Justice League Doom. Uh, that's the uh, Justice League. Not the Snyder uh, cut, but I'd love to get that one. Uh, when I get a chance to, I'm going to watch it on my day off. Uh, and then there's uh, Batman the Animated Series. That's one of the series I used to love watching all the time. I'd come in from school and uh, I'd watch that on Fox Kids. And uh, like I said... Uh, I was thinking there, um, hopefully we'll do a video on uh, the top 10 of the uh, best uh, series, uh, best shows that came off of that uh, Fox Kids. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll see about what everybody likes about it and everything. But uh, here we go with the next one here, Batman Golf and My Up Gaslight. Then there's the Dark Knight series, uh, Titans, I've only watched a few episodes off of that, uh, Teen Titans series contract, uh, Teen Titans vs. Justice League, uh, the Batman and Beyond, uh, Return of the Joker, and Batman, uh, the Mystery of Batwoman, Son of Batman, and then we got, uh, Under the Red Hood, uh, Justice League, it's like four episodes there. Uh, it's. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. But there's four episodes there, and both of them's the. Two of them's the Blackest Night, one about um, the Green Lantern, and the enemy below, I believe, is. Um, Something to do with Aquaman. I don't know. And then, of course, I know a lot of people says they don't like it, but uh, I got it. It's a DC movie. It's part of my DC collection there. Green Lantern. Um, uh, Holly Quinn and the Birds of Prey. Um, well, let's go back to this one there. And it said, I said, I hope pretty soon uh, within... <laughs> Maybe a couple more years. Hopefully they will come out with the uh, Green Lantern Corps movie. They said that at some point. The Green Lantern Corps movie. It's it's supposed to have John Stewart as the Green Lantern. And I can't wait to see who plays him. Because John Stewart was one of my favorite. As you can see. Uh, John Stewart was on the... Uh, the, uh, the Green Lantern on the Justice League, the animated series, as you can see here. Uh, he was one of my favorite uh, Green Lanterns because just because he was the only really Green Lantern I ever knew uh, and stuff. Uh, then there's Batman Returns, uh, the um, Bat Batman one, uh, and then somehow or another this Jimmy Neutron movie was pulled in there. I looked in Jimmy Neutron. Uh, and then down here on the bottom on this whoops on the second shelf here uh, we have um, we have the Doctor Who uh, 
Matt Smith's Doctor Who, uh, the uh, Christopher Eccleston and uh, Dave Tennant. Dave Tennant was my favorite, all time favorite there. And before I get into the uh, next few movies, there's my Big Bang collection there. Well, along with some of the Adam Sandler movies like Chuck and Larry Blended and uh, Don't Miss His Own One. And then here's some other movies that uh, I liked really good there. There's uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, and then there's Black Sheep with uh, Chris Farley and David Spade. The best tag team guys there is in movies. This one and Tommy Boy was the only two that they did together, and it was they was both awesome. Then of course I got Major League. Here, um, most of these are Adam Sandler movies and stuff. And behind here we have got Clone Wars series, uh, Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, the uh, can't really see very much, but there's a lot there. Uh, that's the Dragon Ball Z movies. Um, and stuff needs to try to straighten that up there. Okay, and down here on the next shelf down, we have my Duck Dynasty collection there. I got there. Um, I used to love that show pretty good. We got, we also got this. The Mortal Kombat film collection there has uh, the first original Mortal Kombat with Annihilation and the newer Mortal Kombat that they had on there, which is really awesome. I love it. Then we got Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Also, I have the uh, new Ghostbusters after Afterlife, and I had some Men in Black 1 and 2. Um... Well, I have the third one or the international one. Um, as you can see, there's the Back to the Future uh, movies, uh, Bill and Ted's, both of them, The Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey, both Percy Jackson movies. Uh, I have the first and second, the Tobey Maguire Spider Man. Um, and then there's the Adams Family, the cartoon version, you know, Adams Family here. Uh, the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings trilogy, both of them, you can see there. Um, let me go ahead and uh, make a comment on this. Uh, anybody uh, who, who likes the, both series, for that matter... Please comment on this if you like, but I watched, I watched the Lord of the Rings when it originally came out. I didn't go to the movie theaters to watch it, but I, I did watch all of them, and I loved it, but as soon as the uh, Hobbit movie come, Hobbit movies come out, I watched all three of those in the theaters, and please... I mean, it. I, anybody who's anybody has their likes, right? Well, I hate to say this, but I love the Hobbit trilogy more than I did the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And I know a lot of people says they like Frodo Baggins. Well, my favorite Hobbit is Bilbo Baggins. I mean, he he was the first one to have the ring, and uh, of course Frodo was the last who had the ring. So that's my take on that. But if any of y'all want to comment or anything on that, go ahead. Feel feel free. Um, and then I've got the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air collection there. Uh, I'm missing a few of them there. Even though I can watch it uh, on the, I think it's HBO Max has it. Uh, then I have some Jeff Dunham. Uh, oh man, I love Jeff Dunham. He's the favorite. Uh, uh, 
matter of fact, right here. Since I let me get it close up, this is Spark of Insanity here. My favorite character is Mr. Peanut right here. Second favorite character is always gonna be Walter, and then third third one's gonna be Aquaman right there. But uh, yeah, got into liking that. He hasn't done very much stand up yet anymore. Then here's uh X Men. There's this uh, X Men movie right here is uh it's supposed to be the trilogy um i think this has got first class uh days days of future past and apocalypse all three of those on there and it's a limited edition still book uh this is whenever uh uh, and then I like, I like that one in here, of course, this is the first, uh, trilogy here, uh, with the X-Men here. This has got all the original, you know, you can see Magneto there, Rogue, and, uh, Lady Deathstrike, and uh, Mystique, and then uh, the one in there, you can see Angel flying there. This is the, uh... This is the X-Men movies that really was really good. I love to see if they had another one. And then like I said, here I got Blade. I love all Blade. Blade was well, I never did watch that one right there on the bottom or uh one called The House of Scythe uh Chaton. Looks like that's what it says here. Uh, because, well, for one thing, Blade was not played by Wesley Snipes. He was the best one to do it there. And then, like I said, I got the, uh, you see here, I, can, I got Ghost Rider in both Fantastic Four movies. Uh, Beetlejuice. And also, you can see Zoom. That's a, well, I... I think it of as a Disney movie, but still, uh, it's a superhero movie. There's Beetlejuice the Animated Series, or I don't know if anybody ever watched that. That was a really great series. Um, whenever I watched it, I don't know what it actually originally come on, but I watched Beetlejuice the Animated Series off of Nickelodeon. And then, of course, yeah, I've got a San Francisco DVD up there, too. I like San Francisco. My dad got me into that one. Also, I do see a lot of uh, WrestleMania there I got. And then, uh, the Attitude Error. It's basically clip by clip, clip of, you know, the Attitude er Error. And then, uh, the Bleak History of the Steelers. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, so, yeah, you can tell that. And then down here on the next one there, you see Problem Child. That's the, uh, that's, uh, Problem Child 1 and 2. There. And then, you, of course, you got, uh, Walking Tall with the Rock. And Nutty Professor Collection 1 and 2. Home Alone, Lethal Weapon. Mrs. Doubtfire, um, Joe Dirt. There's the Pirates movies. I don't have all of those. But there, there's the Mummy collection right here. All three of the Mummies. Uh, Mummy, the Mummy, uh, let's see, what was it? Mummy, uh, the, uh, Mummy Returns, and, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. I like all three. Uh, well, the third one wasn't really that good, but I also have two. I had the Scorpion King. I don't... That's the only, in my opinion, that's the only Scorpion King movie that was any good. And then uh, Rocket Man, Blank Man, those are two funny movies. Um, and then the uh, Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan and Jet Li. Man, that is awesome there. That's... Uh, that's awesome. Look at look at the, how they are in the movie. He is uh, playing Jackie. 
is playing the uh, role of the drunken master, which is probably one of my favorites there. And then the Jet Lee, uh, he's playing the role of a monk in it. He also has another role he plays in. He's supposed to be the Monkey King, uh, too, I believe. But anyway, it's a really good movie. If anybody likes Kung Fu movies, that is, uh, yeah, that's one of my favorites there. And then there's Down to Earth with Chris Rock, uh, and the National Treasure movies. That's, um... Uh, National Treasury, I only got those because, well, Nicolas Cage, I like Nicolas Cage, and plus it's a history type movie, so yeah. Dumb and Dumber 2, uh, the first one and the second one, uh, Bad Boys 2, Shanghai no uh, Nights, Not Noon, I, I wish I had that one, Expendables 2, uh, I have the Friday collection here, you can see right there, um, and then down here at the bottom, you see some Pokemon TV shows there, uh, Looney Tunes, The Simpsons. Also have some Nickelodeon uh, stuff here. Well, some of the classic cartoons from the 90s there. You got Hey Arnold, uh, Rocco's Modern Life, uh, oh, Real Monsters, uh, Angry Beavers, and Cat Dog here. That's some of my favorites there. Uh, the 90s are a talk part. I said another thing too. When I said I was going to do that, I thought about the uh, kid, Fox Kids. Also, I said uh, we'll do one with the 90s of the uh, cartoons and TV shows. Um, we'll probably just do cartoons and TV shows in general of the 90s at... Uh, a lot of kids used to grow up watching and stuff. Here's some of the uh, like uh, late 90s, uh, early 2000s shows. Or, uh, of course, you got uh, what started from the Rugrats or, and into the all grown ups, you know, all grown up special TV TV show when they were like SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, Jimmy Neutron, Fairly Odd Parents, uh, Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, Danny Phantom, uh, My Life as a Teenage Robot, and then, of course, the uh, Rugrats, which was uh, all of that era there. And then, like I said, we also got some Family Guide, and uh, I had some um, Futurama uh, DVDs, too, but... Uh, can't remember. Oh yeah, too. Another another TV show that I liked. It came on Fox. Digimon. Digimon. Digital Monsters. Digimon Collect Champions. Yeah, I love that. I love the theme song too. That was one of my favorites. I love that. The first and the second season. Uh, the one with Ty and them, and then the second one which had um, which had Davis on it. Uh, new Digimon, uh, new uh, new trainers and everything, new Digivices, uh, and then later, and then of course uh, their Digimon were in uh, Digi Eggs, that which kind of resembled what their Digimon would uh, Digivolve into, and they had the uh, every one of the new trainers had the. Uh, of course, uh, the first one, which which Davis had, was uh, his partner was Vimon, and of course his uh, first one came out. He had the uh, the Crest of Courage, which was Ty's, and his Digimon uh, Vimon. He armored Digivolved into Flamedramon, which was I loved him. And then, of course, later on, they actually digivolved without the uh, digi eggs and stuff like that. And they regular, and then there was the DNA digivolve and all that. But uh, I was doing my DVD collection. I'm sorry, I tended to ramble on about Digimon there. Uh, boy, I love that series. I loved all of the series up until it got to the. What was it? 
It was like the third or fourth one when they called it uh, the Digimon, Digimon Digital uh, Frontier or whatnot. I didn't like that. When there really wasn't Digimon, there they were they had digital armor uh, put on humans and stuff, and then there was the Data Squad and all that crap. I didn't like none of that. That, was, that just sucked me. But anyway. As you can see, that's most of my DVD collection. I'm not going to pull out any more there. Because there, there is quite a few that's behind there. Uh, but, but yeah, that that's my DVD collection there. Uh, like I said, there's a whole bunch more. Uh, it would take really great effort in uh, uh, taking all those the other DVDs out behind there. Um. Well, I could do some on this second shelf here. Like I said, I've got uh, Space Jam, Mighty Ducks, or the one, two, and three there. Let's see. Alice in Wonderland. And also, I have this movie here on it. Let me flip the camera on here and let you see it there. Um, let's see. Hold on. This right here, I have this. This is Sonic. As I, as you remember, I did a video on the Sonic movie on the Sonic 2, which was really great. I love the Sonic 2 movie, and anybody who who gets the chance to should watch that. I also have like Casper. Um, also have this uh, Vampire movie. It was really good. The Vampire's Assistant. I can't get. That out there um i have the sandlot sandlot 2 uh ladybug so let's see if i can uh, you can see those there little giants that that's uh, I'm trying to recall there uh, i grew up actually watching that there uh, that's that was a really really great set of movies there uh everything there um like I said, there, there's a bunch of stuff there. Um, well, I can't seem to find a way to... Oh, yeah, here's another set of collect collection movies there. If if you can see. Oh, oh, yeah, right here it is. It's the Austin Powers, the International Man of Mystery, uh, the Spy Shad Man Gold Member. Yeah, baby, yeah. I love Austin Powers. It, that was one of my favorite movie series there. Um, I love that one, Dr. Evil. Mm. And then, uh, like I said, he, uh, you know, Austin Powers, you know, he, yeah, baby, yeah. Uh, then, like I said, I have another, oh, yes, 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 the, uh, I have the original trilogy of Star Wars, and then, of course, that, that one there is the Rise of Skywalker there, and then Beetlejuice next to, I love Beetlejuice, man, that, that's another movie I grew up watching there, it was really great there, let me try to, put these dvds back how i had them there uh oh yes the harry potter collection um i don't have fantastic beast um family matters uh uh you seen there before there earlier i had the uh transformers movies i only have like three of them there and then as you can see, there's that one on the inner next to Family Matters is uh, the Dennis the Menace movie. Then we'll go back to the, you know, uh, all that. Er, see if I can drown out. Oh, yeah. Starsking Hutch, Norbert, uh, the Avengers Pluto Nash, uh, 
the mask movie collection. Are we, are we there yet? Um, liar, liar. Uh, I know. I said it was. I said I was going to do this, but uh, rush hour. Uh, we got rush hour one and two. Uh, I've got Evan Almighty. Um, uh, let me see if I can grab some of these. Uh, I don't have to. Uh, not at the museum. Oh, there it is. There it is, boys, y'all. Ah. And then, of course, you see there's a Robin Hood Men and Tights movie. Uh, and then, uh, not really much. But right here it is. Here's one of my all-time favorite Chris Farley and David Spade movies. It is Tommy Boy. The Holy Snikies edition, of course. Uh, I have one favorite scene in there. Um, the one, the one where Tommy Boy, uh, he goes and, uh, they're in a hotel and, uh, he tries to, I think he tries to cheer up Richard and he, uh, he does the, uh, fat man in a little coat, fat man in a little coat, fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> oh man, that was a good scene, man. Um, but like I said, it, 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 uh, I finally found that. I, I'm glad I did. Uh, just by looking here, I, I did not know that I had it set in there. I'm going to have to re-go through some of my movies here. Because, uh, I mean, because I've got some of them set up in collections, as you can see. I have the um, DC movie collection. I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to go and uh, set it up to uh, also have have uh, my Marvel movie collections. I don't have very many of those, just because of the fact of the matter is uh, I'm not really much into Marvel. Um, but there is there is one hero that I do love, uh, not quite a lot there. Sorry about the light there. I thought I had too much light. Let me go ahead and get rid of this lamp here. Um, but anyway, uh, my favorite Marvel hero is always going to be Spider-Man. Um, I grew up watching the, uh, the Spider-Man, the animated series there. Really great. Um, that, alongside to the X-Men, the animated series, uh, right there is Spider-Man, X-Men, and then of course I mentioned earlier uh, the uh, Batman the Animated Series. Um, that's three that was on the Fox Kids TV show, I mean the TV channel there. Because, I mean, that and then of course they had all kinds of other stuff there. Um, like I said, I don't know what people really like about and stuff, but... Uh, like I said, there, there's a, on my movie collection here, there's quite a few good movies there. Like I said, right there is my Adam Sandler collection there. Um, his 50 First Days, Jack and Jill, that's my boy. That's a funny one there, that, that, that's my boy. The Long Shard, and then here's a uh, two-pack co movie collection of the Happy, G Happy Gilmore and the Billy Madison movie. Um. Uh, Grown Ups 1 and 2, Click, Anger Management, I, that one was really good, with uh, the Adam Sandler and uh, Jack Nicholson. Um, funny people I haven't really watched, and then of course this one on the end here, this is uh, the uh, Monsters, the three uh, movie pack, with uh, Monsters Go Home, uh, Monsters Revenge, and... Uh, the family portrait of the monsters uh if anybody who who has went and looked at some of the movie news and stuff uh rob zombie is coming out with a uh, a uh i guess it's a remake or uh, 
I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little more uh, scary because uh, if anybody's seen some of his movies, um, like I, I haven't really seen much, uh, maybe clips and stuff, but uh, Rob Zombie's movies is really scary. So yeah, if he if he does anything with the monsters movies, uh, it, it will be really really scary. And of course, too, um, they said on the, on the um, website called comicbook.com, uh, I get news is in on email and everything. And one of the things said that one of the original characters from the monsters was supposed to come back and be in it. I'm not entirely sure if it's the. Uh, Fred, uh, whatever, I forgot how you say, Fred Gwynn, I think it's, the guy who played Herman Monster, I'm pretty sure the guy who played the, uh, Grandpa, uh, he's probably dead by now, and then I'm not entirely sure about the, uh, rest of the ones, uh, Lily and, uh, uh, any of the other, uh, monsters that were on our, um, but anyway, we, we'll try to see if I can uh, cut down on some of these uh, movies here. See if I can actually grab some of the other movies here out for you to see. Um, like I said, uh, I did tell you that I had Family Guy there. Uh, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably go back over these here. Um... There's a uh, wedding crasher. That's a, that was a pretty good movie. Pretty funny movie. Oh yeah, here's one of my f recently. Just put it this way. This is one of my favorite uh, movie packs. And uh, two movies that I uh, maybe just I believe it's maybe last year or year before I started watching this, and I loved them. But uh, it is. Hold on a minute. Let me try to set it up here so you can see it. Okay. Set it up and then have the darn thing pop out of it. I'm just going to do like here. Case will be in there pretty good. But anyway. Let me see if I can set it up still here. But here. Uh, it's a John Hughes yearbook collection of 16 candles. Uh... Uh, Breakfast Club and Weird Science. Weird Science out of before actually watching the other two. I had already watched that one uh, years and years ago. Way before I started watching The Breakfast Club and Sixteen Candles. But of course uh, a lot of people can see here in The Breakfast Club you have uh, Anthony Michael Hall right here. And of course, you got the Molly Ringwall there. And then again, we have Anthony and Michael Hall here and Molly Ringwall. And then in, in Weird Science, this is Anthony Michael Hall here. So, um, two movies that had both, both actors in it. And then the third one just has Anthony Michael Hall. Uh, like I said, this is one of the movies I, I enjoyed watching. All three of them. Uh, Galaxy Quest. Okay, yeah. Uh, I seen remember uh, uh, Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, and Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman was the one guy I mentioned earlier that was in the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. He was the uh, robot. <laughs> Who seemed like he had some sort of emotional problem. But this was a really good movie. I don't know if anybody ever likes it or whatnot. Um, that one. And then this is a movie I watched years ago. It was really funny. It had Kelsey Grammer in it. And apparently I didn't know this for a long time. Rob Snyder was in this. If anybody don't know him. He's uh Of course he's the... 
he's a guy who played uh, Deuce Bigelow. He played in uh, The Animal. Um, uh, a lot, a lot of movies that uh, um, Adam Sandler was in and stuff. And like I said, I also like this one, uh, the Night at the Museum. I first loved that one because of the Easter Island head uh, on her. You want gum gum dum dum? <laughs> you better run for a Tilata Hun Hun. Um, you got high school, high school high with uh, John Lovitz. Uh, and, the, and of course here, there's the problem child. Yeah. Um. Then there was uh. The Norbert. Uh. I uh, see. Here's one of the uh. Deuce Bigelow movies. Uh. Don Nuts movies. M Money Talks. Beverly Hills Three. Uh. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Uh. I have a bit of a backup here. Major Pain. That's another good one. Here's the Friday movie collection I had. Well, Friday, next Friday, and the Friday after next. And then, uh, Ted. Anybody who's anybody should know that is one of the funniest movies ever. And then you have the Schwarzenegger uh, collection here. A three film of uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Red Heat, which I have no idea on, and then Total Recall. And then, of course, uh, I also have uh, Dukes of Hazard, Wild Hogs, and uh, some other movies there. Uh, oh, Ace Ventura, when the. Uh, Ace Ventura, Peck Detective, or, uh, and then let me see if I can grab some of these movies off the bottom. Or I have the Turtles. Yep. Uh, let me see if I can grab all three of them. Or we have the first one, the first Turtles. Wise man said, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for, for, for late peeps. Uh, and then, of course, Turtles 2, uh, the uh, secret of the ooze, when they, uh, I'm hoping they have a picture, but no, they don't. But anyway, this one is also uh, whenever they had an encounter at the end there with the super shredder. Uh... If y'all don't know, and if any of y'all like wrestling and stuff, the guy who played uh, the guy who played the Super Shredder in that one had was uh, Kevin Nash. Uh, if y'all didn't know, I'm pretty sure you have. But anyway, uh, here we go with the third one here: Turtles Three, Turtles in Time. Which was uh, probably one of my least favorite ones. I didn't really care too much for the third one. but And then of course we have some of the original Turtle series there. Um, and I, I love the original Turtle series. Uh, I really wish they had some of the other ones. And then here's the uh, one of the Turtle movies that came out. Uh, year, uh, 2007. It was a CGI hit. Er... Uh, um, T, it's, it was called TMNT, of course, everybody knows what that means, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, uh, and then, of course, I have these right here, these are the new movies here, the, um, the, the ones where they're, uh, digitally enhanced or whatnot, I can't remember what you would call it, then, of course, you got the second one here, Out of Shadows, you got Casey Jones played by Stephen Amell. And then, of course, you've got uh, uh, Rhino and... Uh, the, no. It, well, it's, it's Rhino. It's Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, with uh, Rocksteady 
being played at being played by none other than Sheamus of the WWE. And then I don't have all of the collection, but here's uh, Shrek. Uh, this is uh, one, two, and three um, Shrek collection. Uh, and then uh, trying to recall what else. Oh yeah, here's one of the. Um, this is the one of the last. Good series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, it was really great. I didn't at first. I didn't really think it was any good, but yeah, I started to live up to you know. I mean, here's another one I got uh, the mut Mutagen uh, Mayhem. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show the uh, the Jetsons movie. And then please don't judge me, but here's uh, Lilo and Stitch. Stitch has a glitch. I love Lilo and Stitch. Um, and then, of course, I don't know how any of y'all will think this, but this is one of my favorite series. Anybody, please give me a good uh, comment on this. This is uh, Avatar The Last Inter Airbender. This is the book one series uh, where they were in the water tribe and he was trying to learn water building. Uh, I have yet to find the whole and complete, uh, get the complete se series of it. Um, I also have, uh, as you can see, the Incredibles. Crunk's New Groove, which was a like a spin-off of the uh, Emperor's New Groove. Um, and then we got... Uh, oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we have the Nicktoons Halloween special there. Um, and then here we go. I think I only have one of them. But this is the only one I got. But this is the Family Guy spoof of Star Wars. And it was called Something Something Dark Side. Um, of course, anybody who's anybody watched it, I haven't gotten Blue Harvest, which was the first one. Um, and stuff. Uh, and then here's a, here's another show. I, I don't know if anybody would laugh at me or what not. But I like Kim Possible. Uh, my favorite character on her is not Kim Possible. Uh, mine is Mr. Ron Stoppable himself with his trusty uh, naked mole rat. Ja -ja 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 -ja. The mole rat. Mole rat, 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 rat. Y'all, let's see. Ah. Uh, Oh, yes, 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 yes. We have the Carter's movies there. Um, and I also have this Despicable Me 3, uh, 2, and or and 1. And uh, another thing that I said, please don't judge me about is this i loved hannah montana whenever it was out uh it was a good show great show i loved it and uh, yeah no bad comics on that one please uh, like i said uh everybody's got their likes i mean uh and everybody's got their dislikes and you you can you can say yeah but uh whenever she she was hannah montana she was great i loved uh, I loved her songs and music and all that, and the uh, and the TV series. Um, I loved uh, that. Uh, during that time, they had the um, um, during that time they had the um, that series, the Hannah Montana series, the um, uh, Hannah Montana, the uh, Wizards of Waverly Place. Um, 
Uh, well, uh, before that, they had they still had it, but they had Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, which was a good series. And then, of course, they continued that series on uh, from the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, uh, and they went on to the uh, Sweet Life on Deck, which was a great series, too. Um, I'm trying to remember some other ones. They, they had so many good series at uh, that time. And they continued on. Really great. Um, I can't really think. Oh crud. I've almost used up an hour of this. But let's go ahead and do the final uh, stuff here. Um, I also have this other one here. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the camera on it there. I loved Ben 10. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, this is Ben 10 Ultimate Alien though. Um, uh, like I said, uh, I pulled these out there, and I'll have to restack all this there. Uh, don't worry about it, y'all. We'll, we'll we'll get it fixed back here. Um, like I said, after tomorrow, whenever I'm off the next day, there I'll straighten that up. Or um, let me sort these out here right now. Um. I tried to show you almost every one of them there, but, uh, but that, that should be it right there. Um, shouldn't be nothing else there on there. Cause, I, I put almost all my entire collection up there. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to re, reorganize it again there. After shorting that out there. But, uh, we are closing in on, uh, 50 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and leave you with um, uh, a Geeky Geeky Geeks World, Wes is Geeks World uh, uh, saying, until you see, until, you, until I see you next time, out of the world.